Hey guys, so today is going to be a very quick video, but I just wanted to show you my wreath because I finished it and I love how it turned out. Look at it, it's so cute. So I went back and got another roll of the burlap. And so for the 18 inch metal frame, two rolls of the um, 20 feet of burlap is what you will need. So basically 40 feet. 40 feet of burlap is what you're going to need for an 18 inch wreath. And then I also got this ribbon. I got this kind of a plain burnt orange one with, you can't really tell, but it's got a sparkly orange edge. And then I got this one, which is gold and orange chevron on top of a burlap colored material. But I love chevron and Neil loves orange and it is August, so it's a little bit early for fall colors. But Neil loves orange so much, I just decided to go ahead and put the orange on early. I did make it so that this bow is interchangeable, so I can take this one off. And then for 4th of July, I can make a red, white, and blue bow. For Valentine's Day, I'm really excited to make a Valentine's Day bow. I saw so many cute ribbons and things. And yeah, so I think next time I'm going to get, um, maybe I'll do like, a bow like on the side. I don't know. The bow can pretty much be stuck on anywhere around here. So if I wanted to just do like a bow on the side or at the bottom instead. And uh, yeah. And then Neil was also saying like maybe for Halloween I could leave this orange bow on. But then maybe get some like clip on little pumpkins or bats or whatever and clip that on. So you can just change it however you like. And I really love how the bow came out. I have never made such a fancy bow like this and I love how it came out so cute and then I used a little bit of orange sparkly kind of a ribbon to hang my little letter there and it's just so cute I love how it came out so yeah I just wanted to share it with you guys uh, because I didn't get to finish it yesterday but I think well I basically pulled out all the burlap today and started from the beginning just because I wanted to like make sure that I spaced it out for the second roll. And anyways, the whole wreath took me maybe five or six minutes to do. And then the bow took me the longest just because I'd never made a bow like that before. I wanted to do like two loops. And I'd never done a two-loop bow before, so that actually took me the longest to figure out how to do that. Um, and then, yeah, so I'd say the bow took me maybe 10, 15 minutes, um, just because I had to watch some videos on YouTube, some tutorial videos on bow making before I did that. But if I had already knew how to make a cute bow, or if I was just sticking on flowers or something, it probably would have been a little less time. So the way this breaks down in price, um, here's what I spent. So I got everything at Michael's craft store. So the uh, metal frame was $3.99. The two rolls of burlap were $6.99 each. The ribbons were, oh geez, how much were those? I think they were $3.74 each roll of ribbon and I bought two rolls. This letter here was $2.99. So math and taxes and blah 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 I think it came out around $27 so in the end it was two dollars more expensive than if I had um, just bought it from the lady in my neighborhood who makes them so that doesn't make me very happy <laughs> um, but overall it was really fun to make it and I do love that you know now I can say that I made it so I guess that part's fun and I don't think that her um, decorations were interchangeable. I think she was going to hot glue them on. So I do like that I made it so that I can change out the letter if I want or I can change out the bows or just decorations like that. But yeah, I spent two dollars more and I had to do it myself. So uh, I don't know. It might be cheaper if you can like find someone on Etsy or somebody to do it. Um, but if you want to be able to say that you did it yourself and have fun making it because I did have fun making it and kind of personalize it to how you want. I don't think bad and this is a huge wreath. I will include a picture of what it looks like on my door um, because I made this one for my front door and I actually had so much fun making it that I do want to make more wreaths. I just don't know where to put them in my house because 
traditionally I've only ever seen them on the front door so do you guys have wreaths in your house and if so where do you put them because I really want to make more this was so fun to make I just want to make more wreaths so I just gotta find where to put them that it's not awkward but anyways I hope you enjoyed it and um, if you want a tutorial on how to do the burlap part of this wreath just go back to the very last video I posted and I show you how to do it and uh, yeah so I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you tomorrow